All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We got a crazy week ahead of us, and I really think the stock market is going to go crazy this week. So we got a lot to talk about. I have a breakdown of the week, and to start off the video, I hope you realize where we are. We are ending September. We are starting October, and even though a lot of people think October has a lot of positive seasonality, where we are at in the market, this is a very interesting spot. You go through from 2022, the beginning, the middle, even back to like September, October 2021, you will notice we are trading at the same spot. Now, that's the first thing I want you to notice. The other thing is how last October played out. Yes, October is a good month seasonally, especially when you have a year-to-date gain of 10% and August and September. September is red. Usually October is a good month, but taking note what happened last year, even though we were a negative year, how we started off, you like had a couple of positive days in October, and then you quickly went down and was like middle of October. You had that whole 9% CPI. We bottomed out and then started to go crazy. So what I'm trying to say here is that this week has the potential to go crazy because we have a crazy calendar. We're getting the ISM. We're getting the Jolts Jobs openings. You're getting the non-farms. And then you even have Powell and a couple of others. But the whole point is this week, it's going to have a lot of setup, but I don't think it will define October. And it could be very volatile. So, Chad, we got a lot to talk about. I got the keys for you. I got the plays, everything else you're going to need. I don't have the video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ran. It's been a long weekend, bro, but... I do have the random account for you. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. And what I need from you is to post a random option trade in the comments below. Keep it below $100, preferably with time on that contract. But we had a little pop there. I think we have Groupon and a couple of others. But let's get a good play, Chad, and run it, baby. Ah. I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like progression. Mama never plans if he waits for perfection. I think it's in the downhill. Ball right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen. The calendar is where. All of the action is going to be this week, but we did not have a government shutdown. So we were talking about that last week. We are not going to have to deal with any delayed data. So that's at least some good news to start off the week. But as far as what we're going to be getting pretty much in this order, it's going to be ISM manufacturing, Powell and a lot of other Fed speakers, the Jolt Jobs openings, ISM services, and then the non-farm payroll. So I'll go over the calendar with you, but why I want you to understand Understand this is pretty much, and this is what I'm saying here in the beginning of the video, the all the Octobers from 2021 till right now, these events have the ability to move the bonds a lot. Over the last 12 months, the payrolls have caused the biggest moves on the bonds when the data is released. And there will be a lot of revisions. We got to talk about that. And I do think that'll hold importance, but even right when it comes out, it is causing a big reaction. So that's going to be on Friday. But ISM Manufacturing, that's going to be on Tuesday. ISM Services. And then even in the same breadth of the payrolls, don't forget what happened with the Jolts Jobs opening. So like I'm saying, you'll come down here Monday. You're going to get ISM Manufacturing. That's important for the bonds. All the Fed speakers come up. But now the Jolts Jobs opening, this is going to be a big one. So I'm sure we're going to have a reaction to the ISM Manufacturing. But just don't forget forget what happened a month ago. This was one of the first big signs that three-month average of jobs openings dropping. I think it came in almost about a million lower than expected. This time around, we are expecting 8.83 million job openings. If that continues to drop, we are going to have to start asking those questions about the job market. And then, depending on how big of a move it is, this could definitely move the bond market. But now, given that it had such a big move the last month, Let's watch if this changes. If this has a bounce, then it will calm people down, and then you're going to start pushing everything till Friday. But that's going to be one of the big ones. You come through here on Wednesday, like I said, there's a lot of stuff overseas, even European PPIs, but for the most part, ISM services, how it moves our bonds, that will be the big key. Just don't forget that theme of higher for longer and what happened over the last week. This is very important. So if there's any data, especially data that 
that the bonds are really sensitive to. If this either continues or stabilizes the bonds, that could get the dollar moving a lot. And don't forget, young dollar, that is still going to be something you're going to watch. But in general, I'm going to think ISM data, that will be the driver and what people are expecting. All of the ISM gauges, they're pretty much lower, but they're expected to kind of stay within the range that they're at. You're not supposed to see too much improvement. Uh, we are expecting downside out of both of them, ISM services and uh, ISM manufacturing, but they're not supposed to move too much. If there is a big bounce, though, I would watch for the bonds to make a big move, therefore causing a big market move, depending on how the dollar is moving that day. But for the most part, that's going to be the main stuff we got to be looking for. And besides that, the only thing I'm going to be watching is kind of what I told you here in the beginning that I think we might even play out like last October where we're going to start like kind of a little good for the beginning of the month. But I also still think like if there's any selling pressure, you could still be going down in that first week of October. Even though seasonality is supposed to be good, I do think it could show up around the middle or after we get that data. Remember, after this week, now that there is no government shutdown, you are going to be getting the CPI after this, and then it's Jerome Powell, and then before you know it, it's end of October, there's then Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then it's 2024, and then you start the year of an election. So it's going to be wild, Chad, but that is what we're going to have this week. It should be very straightforward. So so now, uh, let us get into the play. So, uh, right off the bat, it should be a given. One of the plays we're going to be watching this week, it is going to be the bonds, ISM services, manufacturing, jolts, non-farms. Those will move the bonds the most. That's the moral of the story. But the main question we are looking to answer this week, do the yields stabilize or not? So, keep your eyes out for that. But as far as the first play, I am going to have to start here with oil oil because this is another one of those things we got to be watching don't forget oil had a very wild week last week it did calm down a little bit but at one point it was like 93 95 i don't know why this chart's not showing it but cl futures did hit 95 on crude at one point last week so if oil calms down that should be a good thing if it goes crazy watch how both the commodity reacts as well as the companies i'm still in oxy but i want to also make some decisions here because oil is going to be one of the these big drivers into the end of the year, especially if we're going to get volatility. But keep your eyes out for that. That's play number one. Then play number two, I'm going to go to a different area, but a biotech. Biogen got approval for a rheumatoid arthritis drug. I think it might be a competitor of Abivi. I may need to double check, but they've kind of been killed. And I'm very hesitant towards this play and the next one I'm about to show you. So they've also had a lot of stuff going on with different approvals. I even think they're Alzheimer's drug, but they had an update here. I wonder if it's going to have a big effect but I'm going to be watching this week and I would definitely keep an eye out for this one but that's play number two and then finally play number three this one's a little weirder but Walgreens so not for the long term but we will be getting money in for the long term so that's good but why did it go crazy on Friday it's been having a weird weird death spiral is it going to be the next Rite Aid but the thing was their CFO or their CEO left then they guided down on the year and then what happened last Friday here this little pop it was a report that they could be potentially getting executive Tim Wentzworth of Cigna the former Cigna CEO or executive I don't know if he was the CEO but people like that we haven't had confirmation and there was a pretty big job drop when the old CEO left so Watch out for that. I'm not really sold on it, but like we said, depending on what we got for the long term, those are going to be the only other plays I'm looking at. Like I said, I get a deposit here. I've been saying this all month. I'm looking at Disney, Walgreens, even MO, and then I had one more, Pfizer, but these are all kind of low. They all had a pop on Friday, so we'll see how it is coming into this week, how October treats us. But that is your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make sure Hydra Healthy ready to go. Make sure post your watch list. Make sure we see you there in the morning. I need the armor on. I need the helmet shining. And I need you to remember Amor Fati. Love, fate, control what you can control. Bring that into the end of the year. Vibe with it, ups and downs, but you got to bring it home and prepare. And I'll tell you, if you have a destination, you will always get there. That's word to the richest man of Babylon. Earl Nightingale, baby. Oh, no, I hope they... But, Chad, I wish you could see me right now, but I'm going to see you tomorrow morning. Drink that water. Stay hydrated, healthy. Have a wonderful evening. And God bless you. I'm out. I'm out. Horn. Mm.